Hey friends, how's it going? Ash here with Sense. Hope that you're doing well. A little while back, I did a video where I talked about dangerous fragrances for men. And that video was more so about fragrances that will get you positive attention, compliments, stuff like that. So you get it, dangerous, but a play on words. Today, I'm gonna be talking to you about fragrances that to some of you out there are actually legitimately dangerous, like fragrances that you might have an allergic reaction to, fragrances that don't work so well for you. So a different type of dangerous, actually dangerous. So let's jump into it. Let's talk about these 10 fragrances that you guys told me are dangerous for you. Now I'm not gonna hold up each and every one of these 10 fragrances. Actually, some of these submissions have multiple fragrances and I don't wanna be showing you like 20 bottles here, but I'll show you pictures and I'll hold up some of them. Okay, so we're gonna have to use our imaginations on some of these and just pretend I'm, I'm holding the bottle for you. In case you haven't seen this type of video before, I'll make a post on the community tab of my YouTube channel and I'll ask you guys a question then I'll take some of your answers and use that for a video like we're doing here today. And if you wanna be part of one of these in the future, I have a post up on my community tab right now that you can check out and feel free to go on there and vote for stuff or leave a uh, response. And also guys, uh, let me bestow the codes. Gents10, twistedlily.com, maxaroma.com. Either one of those websites, that code will get you 10% off. Save yourself on some sweet, sweet niche. Also, if you shop at Lucky Scent, the code is 10gents and that'll get you 10% off. First up, we got QN. I remember in the 2000s when my parents first bought me Tommy Cologne from Hilfiger, which was a huge release. Any of you guys were around when that one dropped and for years afterward, you know what I'm talking about. I sprayed it on my neck and arms, but ended up breaking out in hives. To this day, I'm still not sure what ingredient caused it. Had to go get an emergency antihistamine shot because my throat started to swell. Dude legitimately had to almost get an EpiPen because of Tommy Hilfiger, which is pretty crazy. I mean, Tommy Cologne is one of those fragrances that you would not think of as a, a scent that would cause an allergic reaction, especially not one like that. But one thing that you'll see as we work through the list here today is that for a lot of different people out there, just random fragrances for some reason don't work well for them or, or with them and they have some sort of reaction one way or the other. This one out of everything that I had read seemed like one of the more intense reactions because if you're having your, your face swell up and your neck swell up and your throat swell up, that's more like an allergic reaction that somebody would have to penicillin or something like that. I should know, I'm allergic to penicillin. So yeah, not great. And if you ended up kicking the bucket because you sprayed yourself with Tommy Cologne, what a way to go. Up next, S. White 175. As much as I love Mancera's, I often feel a burning on my skin, neck, for the first few minutes. I opt for spraying on my wrists and clothes exclusively. This is one thing a lot of people said actually, that they would get reactions when they sprayed it on their neck. And it wasn't just Mancera, it was actually a wide number of fragrances that you guys had commented about. They gave people reactions on their neck. So it would break out, it would be red, you'd get a rash, something like that. It's a very sensitive part of skin here. Part of skin? What? It's a sensitive part of your body. English. Mancera's were also mentioned by other people, but usually it was actually somebody saying, this one gives me a headache. And that was the most common reaction that people talked about on that post was headaches, which makes sense. Something really cloying, something very heavy, spraying that on, if it doesn't really work well for you, it can just give you a gnarly headache. Next up, Dolipidy. Not really an allergic reaction, but the first time I sprayed on clubbed in a wee intense man from our moth, I had a head splitting headache. Now see, from the opening. I didn't know what to expect. I've worn it since and it hasn't been as bad, but the opening is something else. That is one of the things everybody loves to harp about uh, with Club De Nuit Intense Man is that opening. It's got kind of a lemony household cleaner vibe to it, a little chemically, can be a little bit harsh, quite strong. And so if you're sensitive to fragrances and you don't know what you're in for, you spray this on, especially if you spray it on heavily and it starts kind of overwhelming your senses, yeah, you, you might get yourself a raging headache. One thing that I do find interesting as well is that I was expecting a lot of inexpensive Middle Eastern fragrances to be on this list. 
to be upvoted by you guys, to have all kinds of comments from you guys saying, oh, this one from Armoff or this one from Afnon or this one from like some crazy cheap brand I haven't even heard of. They are giving me rashes, this, that, the other thing. Not that I've ever gotten them, but that was my expectation. And yet in actuality, most of the posts on there were one of two things, either expensive niche fragrances or inexpensive designer fragrances. Like that whole middle ground for the most part was untouched. <laughs> like the uh, the more well-known designer brands, they didn't really have too many, except for a couple that I will talk about here. Next up, Philip Jones, for a reason I still can't understand. Every time I wear Davidoff Cool Water Intense, it stings my neck to the point it makes a rash. Doesn't happen with the regular cool water, but for some reason, Intense always stings my neck. So yeah, obviously something contained within this little bottle here doesn't work all that well for you. Assuming that you don't just spray on cool water Intense immediately after you shave your neck and now you have like a mental kind of block where Davidoff Cool Water Intense equals stinging neck. I'm assuming that's not the case though. But just in case you guys are unaware of that, <laughs> If you shave like right here and then you spray a fragrance directly onto that, you're essentially pulling a Macaulay Culkin in Home Alone, you know? Ah, bro, it stings. That's what you're doing. But yeah, Philip Jones here, Cool Water Intense does not work. And once again, the neck is the culprit. Adrian TP is up next. Herod by PDM gives me a red rash on my skin. Anything with Cade or Cologne makes me a bit tight chested. And a weird one. Anything with Iris or Oris keeps me awake and gives me slight heart palpitations. Almost forgot also that Reflection Man by Amouage makes me feel queasy. So I would guess Reflection Man just for whatever reason you just don't like the smell and it makes you feel a little, a little sickly. Um, maybe it does have iris. I do have to say uh, outside of Herod, you know, it's, it's unfortunate that, that does not work for you and causes you to break out. One of my favorite fragrances from Parfums to Marley, but the, the iris, the auris, the fact that that makes you feel sick, that it gives you heart palpitations and makes it where you can't sleep. What a curse. I'm sorry. Imagine that not being able to smell Dior Homme Intense like you spray it on and you just start going weak. Just, oh, oh, what is that? Oh, it's your kryptonite. <laughs> it's Dior Homme Intense. Like your, your greatest enemy comes up to you and just hits you with a few sprays. No, oh, 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 tell my wife I love her. So strange. I mean, that sucks. I'm sorry to hear it, but you you can't sleep like it gives you insomnia. It's like you took five scoops of pre-workout powder right before you went to bed. That's what Iris does to you. Heart palpitations and no sleep. Sorry, that sucks. A bow D up next. Yop Ohm, the OG. Back in the day, i.e. before being reformulated a number of times, when worn during hot summer days, which I don't suggest, do not wear this in the summer, you're asking for it, especially directly in the sunlight, I sometimes got heavy allergic reactions, leaving painful burning red stains that could last for weeks. That's just your body and also the perfume gods telling you, don't wear Yopom in the summer. This is your punishment. You deserve this. And I wonder if it was like the color of the fragrance itself, like somehow in the sun, in the heat, you were sweating and your pores opened up and the Yop Ohm just settled down into the pores of your skin and just started burning and causing you to have essentially a temporary Yop Ohm tattoo, which is about the worst kind of tattoo I could ever imagine getting. And the fact that it could last for weeks. Did you do that numerous times to the point that like after the third time you went, wait a second, it's the friggin' Yope. Ah, I would hope like the first time you you <laughs> realize that it's not a good idea, but that does sound terrible. Powerful Yope Ohm, not to be trifled with. I'm sorry you experienced that. Also, before we go any further, I wanna make sure I say this before I forget. Thank you everybody for submitting your posts on that community tab. Thanks for letting me know what fragrances didn't work for you. And thank you guys for upvoting the fragrance uh, posts as well. 
So thank you, everybody. Next up, Devin Lyman. I used the original Wanted. The first time I used it, my skin felt irritated, but I thought nothing of it, no big deal. After the second time wearing it, I noticed my skin was very red and peeling. I must be allergic to something in the ingredients, but I don't have any idea what it might be. Now, you may think this is a one-off for Zaro Wanted, and I've never had any issues with it myself, but a number of different people had posted that Zaro Wanted either gave them a little rash, or cause them to sneeze. Actually, a lot of these different fragrances, ones that I'm not mentioning here today, that was a, a common thing that was mentioned, that it would cause them to sneeze over and over. But Wanted was mentioned multiple times. So a little bit of that Azaro Wanted Invicta C goodness, just not working for some of you guys out there all that well. And red and peeling skin, if that was caused from just the fragrance, that'd be pretty wild, that'd be rough. Next up, we got Voice of Sense. He has three. First up, Angel Share. Almost literally burnt my neck. So again, that neck. I don't get you in trouble. Don't spray the neck. Two, Rasasi Hawass stung me. And three, Dylan Blue stung me as well. Although I'm fond of it. I spray it only on clothes. Voice of Sense, I do love how you, you talk about those fragrances that they stung you. Like you imagine the fragrance is just waiting and you spray it and it's like, got you now, mother effer. <laughs> just kind of stinging you tuck, tuck, like a yellow jacket. So I don't know if that's in descending order, like Angel Share almost literally burnt your neck, that that would be worse than being stung by Hawass and, and stung by Dylan Blue, I'm guessing. But that is unfortunate. Don't think off the top of my head that I have ever been like stung by a fragrance in the way that I sprayed it on and then it started to sting or tingle or something like that. Actually, in the back of my mind, I feel like there was a fragrance many years ago that I sprayed on my arm and it did kind of do a little tingling sensation and maybe it was red for a little bit, but I don't remember what fragrance that was. Yeah, there's an, I have no clue, but I feel like that did happen <laughs> unless I like dreamed it. The voice of sense, man, stay away from those stingers. Up next, Bradley163. My brother bought a bottle of YSL Y Le Parfum and if he decides to wear it when he's stressed out, his skin will turn fire engine red and irritated. So the best way to avoid that is if you're stressed out, don't spray it on. Tell your brother. That's a pro tip. Pro tip for me. I will not charge you for that pro tip. This is something that I think um, is more common than you might expect. Like some people, when they get very stressed out, uh, they'll even break out when they have nothing on. They're like in a more irritable state. And when you introduce the fragrance to your skin, especially if you're stressed out and sweating, something like that, it's just going to exacerbate the problem in this circumstance, causes his brother to look like a fire engine and have a rash, which defeats the purpose because I'm assuming if you're spraying on Y Le Parfum, you're trying to spray it on to smell more appealing, more attractive to other people. And that's the type of fragrance that is, you know, it's a compliment getting mass appealing blue fragrance. So if you're spraying that on, trying to smell better and, and potentially uh, attract people to you, you're, you're kind of doing the opposite of that when you make yourself look like a lobster that just got out of the cooking pot. That's not great. Next up, we have Al Mwataz Al Shibli. And if I completely butchered that, I apologize. He says, Amouage, Beach Hut Man. I absolutely love the fragrance. However, whenever I put it on, I get a runny nose and start sneezing nonstop, making me question, why am I doing this to myself? Yes, isn't that something that all of us question? <laughs> why am I doing this? What am I doing? So, I'm washed Beach Hut Man, obviously causing some respiratory issues here. And this was, like I said, the most common thing that popped up across all the fragrances that were mentioned. People were saying, I love this fragrance, but it causes me to sneeze sometimes uncontrollably. Like there was uh, one person who said Polo Blue, the original Eau de Toilette, which is just a really fresh, pretty easy to wear kind of gym fragrance. I'm not a huge fan of Polo Blue Eau de Toilette, but it is uh, an important fragrance. A lot of people wore that. It was a signature scent for a lot of people. And this person said that they really liked Polo Blue for nostalgic reasons, which makes sense. But every time they wore it, they sneeze uncontrollably. So for certain fragrances, for certain people, for whatever reason, it just makes them have a fit. And one other thing that came up very often was people that said they themselves had no issues with fragrances at all as far as 
any kind of reaction, negative reaction, but that people in their work environment, usually offices and even more typically old ladies in those offices did have allergic reactions to the point that if they wore something, they had to go super light with the fragrance or only wear a specific type of fragrance. Or some people, you know, can't even wear a fragrance at all at work because some random older lady who's going to have a coughing fit and potentially die. If you go ahead and hit yourself with a couple sprays of Prada Loam, that's how they act. Trust me, I know from experience. So there we go, guys. 10 actually dangerous fragrances, according to you. Again, thank you all so much for taking part in this, for giving your answers, all that stuff. Thank you, guys. If any of you want to chime in in the comments and let people know, hey, this one did this to me or this one did that to me, feel free. Thank you for hanging with me. Stay safe out there. I'll see you tomorrow with another fragrance video. See you guys later.